So here goes. <laughs> He'd give millionaires a $3 trillion tax cut. Now, you and I know that the wealthiest Americans and the biggest corporations don't need trillions of dollars in tax cuts. Before releasing his plan, Trump said, hedge fund guys are getting away with murder. And he added, they'll pay more. Under Donald Trump's plan, these Wall Street millionaires will pay a lower tax rate than many working people. And of course, Donald himself would get a huge tax cut from his own plan. He won't release his tax returns. Now, you have to ask yourself, what's he afraid of? Maybe that we'll learn he hasn't paid taxes on his huge income? We know that happened for at least a few years. He paid nothing or close to it. Or maybe he isn't as rich as he claims. Or that he hasn't given away as much to charity as he brags about. Donald Trump's ideas about the economy and the world will cause millions of Americans to lose their jobs. Now, this policy is not only wrong-headed and unachievable, it is really bad economics. Just this policy alone would send us into a Trump recession. Now, Donald Trump makes big threats, but he has no serious plan to encourage manufacturing, innovation, or job creation in our country. And there is a difference between getting tough on trade and recklessly starting trade wars. And interestingly, Trump's own products are made in a lot of countries that aren't named America. <laughs> Trump ties are made in China. Trump suits in Mexico. Trump furniture in Turkey. Trump picture frames in India. Trump barware in Slovenia. And I could go on and on, but you get the idea. And I'd love for him to explain how all that fits with his talk about America first. Donald Trump never misses a chance to say that Americans, that he's talking about us, to say that Americans are losers and the rest of the world is laughing at us. Just the other day, he told a crowd that America is, quote, not going to survive. I do not know what he is talking about. What he is talking about. I went to 112 countries as your Secretary of State, and what I saw is envy, envy for our strength, our values, our diversity, the future we are making together. Pretend we can't compete and decrease the jobs of the future. He has no credible plan for rebuilding our infrastructure apart from the wall that he wants to build. He has no ideas how to strengthen Medicare or expand Social Security. In fact, his tax plan would endanger both. He has no real strategy for creating jobs, just a string of empty promises. But then maybe we shouldn't expect better from someone whose most famous words are, you're fired. <laughs> he has no clean energy plan, even though that's where many of the jobs of the future will come from. And it is the key to a safer, healthier planet. He just says that climate change is a hoax invented by the Chinese. Well, give him this. It is a lot easier to say a problem doesn't exist than it is to actually try to solve it. So let's take a look at what he did for his business. He's written a lot of books about business. They all seem to end at chapter 11. <laughs> Go figure. Is this who you want to lead us in an emergency? Someone thin-skinned and quick to anger, 
who'd likely be on Twitter attacking reporters or bringing the whole regulatory system down on his critics when he should be focused on fixing what's wrong. Let's win in November, and then let's get to work, my friends. Let's make America what we know it can be. Thank you all very much.